Hello and welcome to the Free Pixel channel. My name is Jacob and this is AI the Samian file. Last time we left off, we went into Iris. Uh, Iris is uh, looking a bit hazy. We went into Iris's uh, Samium. Actually, we went back in time because we ran into another roadblock. So we redid Iris's Samium and got another result this time. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. Oh, uh, shut up, Ota. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. Right, let's begin the checking around. I can see the kitchen uh, around. I can see the kitchen area past the counter. The counter. Disposable chopsticks. Neither of us can figure out what the, the sauce is. There's a menu on the table. Menu's written on the, the wall uh, on a Takizuka paper. Stool. Table. A kid's chair. It's a round chair. Ring door. Low table. Small sitting cushion. A walk. Why is that there? It's going to use that instead of the taste uh, recently from last time. Nothing but the window. It says good luck. Be a red on the wall. Iris is uh, standing next to me. It's Ota. He looks pretty nervous. Because he's going to do something stupid again. Hopefully this time somehow it won't get him killed. Maybe Aiba can do something since... If they hit me with the walk, uh, the electricity won't do... Why does that surface, matter? Sir, hopefully. Do you want me to leave? Didn't I tell you? Ask Ota about it. Don't you have things to ask Ota? Hurry up. There is something seriously wrong with her in this timeline. Must have done something. She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. It wouldn't happen even we'll happen if you... Anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You got to check the photo on the cell phone, remember? Oh, um... Date, will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, Going to hit me with the walk. I want you to take a good look at it. The photo. Yes, the photo.
Yeah, Iba is still working this time. Apparently we don't get to see anything. And somehow we got in the car. It's pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Ota got me, didn't he? He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Oh, the bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know. But afterward, he ran off the virus. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. Great. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car. You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! What is she doing to her? Tessa? What's wrong? Did something happen? No, everything's fine. Okay, let's go. Chase them. I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short circuited by the blow to your head. Right. <sighs> it is better than last time. How did we get That's into it. the car, Riva? Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Now the killer. Oh, just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Write this again. Iris. How did we get into the card? Still wondering that. The Yumi seemed to go after Oath and Iris. No, that's... The criminal is streaming that live. Iba, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. I kept my foot on. Uh, I kept. I kept my foot to, to the gas uh, the whole time. I could feel uh, this wet on my palms. The energy raised a uh, uh, high. Pick. Then the end uh, raised a uh, uh, high pick pitched scream, but I could uh, barely hear it. My heartbeat was uh, pounding in my ears, uh, taking me to the core. How much time ha had uh, passed? The feeling of uh, time itself uh, had uh, disappeared. Eventually, the car raised the long bridge. Shortly after, the image uh, changed. No, I think we're the that sick bastard. one step ahead this time, compared to last time. I think we got to the long bridge after the, this scene, so maybe we saved them this time. Tessa! Oh 
Hold on! I'll save you! Hota! Okay? Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Don't worry. Iris is alive. Backup is en route to this location. Date, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. Oh, well, they live at least. Both badly hurt, but they live. Now, if I got on this timeline first, I would probably think uh, Iris and Ota set it all up. Depends how weird uh, Iris have been acting and Ota being Ota. Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Did Mario always have that ne necklace? Police officer mannequin. Narcy card. Volley it's a volleyball. Soccer ball. Tag with the big catch on it. The tag. The Nuki statue. Uber restaurant door curtain. The coffee maker is sitting on the shelf. The king show yippies. The person rug is uh, laid out. Boss desk. There are the stickers all over the, in the front. She has a computer on her desk. The type uh, that has a monitor built in. The bookshelf. It has a ton of uh, things uh, stuffed in. A pumpkin. A happy birthday banner decoration. There's a clock off to the side of her desk. The battery is dead on the thing, so the hand they have stopped. Madrushka. The large key. Cabinet. Bags hanging on the rack. Was a chair. Elves. The entrance. All that is blowing from the RC. Boomstone. Rip. There are wine bottles lined up. That's the uh, figure. A decorated Christmas tree it, that's been here since uh, the first time I was in this room. There's uh, a lot of uh, stuff hanging on the coat hanger. The coat. Stationary bike for the uh, indoor training. Symbols. Triangular ruler. Snowboard. 
Fates. An electronic dark world. Police poster. Boy band poster. Map on the wall. Public bath door curtain. A mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. Mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. A, there's a I'm there holding uh, the wall. Also sitting on the uh, top of her desk. For uh, this, uh, from this angle, it's uh, like uh, you should be able to see up uh, her skirt, but you can't. Not that I would uh, want to. She's sitting on top of uh, her desk like normal. They were taken to Central Hospital. Otis' surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable, nothing life-threatening. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. You should ask Iva about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okiara Fishery is owned by the Okiara we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiara Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? Unknown. I don't think it is. We just don't know what the connection is yet. So, Sejima? He was in Iris' Somnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. Of course. Hitomi's at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she yeah. might. Let's we never to got an answer to how we got in the car when I was passed out. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiura family too. Oh, speaking of. Hey boss, did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. Understandable. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Aiba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. Alright boss, I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. Well, let's go in order, I guess.
two cars. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. One van and one station wagon. The cold storage warehouse become at the scene of the of a horrible uh, crime is uh, this morning. The other fishery cut this cold storage warehouse. This station wagon is a stolen car. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. The police officer. I asked him about uh, the investigation, but uh, there's uh, there's been no progress. Police officer. The water of Tokyo Dante, Bay. Look, the school of mullet. And aren't the fish so cute? The water of Tokyo Bay. There's a school of mullet in, in the water, but uh, it has uh, nothing to do with uh, this case. A red uh, barrier uh, lined the uh, rep. Wraps around the scene. In the old uh, days, they used to, to they used to use the uh, yellow cash and tape uh, for this. Now we uh, got the sheep holograms, the technology that uh, can uh, do the job uh, even better. But sometimes we use the good uh, old-fashioned yellow tape. The hologram. Iva, um, what's in the box? Here. It looks like a person. What? No, never mind. It's a silicone doll. In the shape of a woman. Oh, I see. A wooden box. There's a silicon doll inside, but uh, I am pretty sure that has uh, nothing to do with the case. The price don't I didn't say anything else about that. It's a crane. Can you please move the crane. Date, please shut up. Oh, stop. This crane is a uh, power ring. It's an old drum. It looks like that girl Reika from the cabaret club in Nakamaguro. Oh. It looks nothing like her. There's an uh, old drum. It does not look uh, anything like Reika. Warehouse is all in uh, a line. The cops uh, from uh, the head uh, office examined uh, everything I uh, could. Um, to find anything useful. Warehouse is all in the line. Backed containers. I don't think it, this has anything to do with the, what happened. Bol Bolroid, the pillar to moor a ship. The forklift, there's nothing special about it. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! Ota's fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. Was there anything else found inside the car? 
There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. Van owned uh, by a Matsuri family. Ota, Ota's uh, fingerprints were found on the driver's seat and the iris uh, were found on the passenger seat. Ota's cell phone f fell under uh, the driver's seat. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. What? Ota got into the car and drove off. The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Correct. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. Wow, it's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. A police officer. I checked this place point by point. I didn't find nothing. Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. That keeps me warm. Nice, right? All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing them. You seem pretty cold, dude. The inspector is doing his uh, duty as usual. Uh, we're back to this, aren't we? Good one, Dante. <laughs> Have I asked you before? Uh, yeah. Wait, give me a second. That's coming back to me. It has something to do with glass? <laughs> Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. Do you remember now? Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Something like... Six letters long. You remember all that, but not my name? <laughs> you still don't know. No, not yet, but I've almost got it. Three syllables, six letters. Kodaka, right? Not even close. I mean, both start with the K. Do you want me to just tell you? No, oh. no, no, G give me a hint. It starts with Ka. Starts with Ka, three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. Um, <laughs> is it... Kaniza? Yeah, sure, man, that's my name. His name is uh, Kaniza. <laughs> Probably... Probably born between June 20 and July 20. That's my friend Kenaisa. And <laughs> we don't. <laughs> oh, that's great. No, unfortunately, I live alone. With a job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Hey, now you're talking. You're buying, right? Sure, all expensive. 
I recorded that conversation. I will be sending it to the boss later. He will just uh, ask to join us. Second thought. Uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. If you send it to the boss, she will just join us. 100% sure about that. Uh, no, nothing so far. Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> huh. Yeah, thinking the same thing. That must be Ota's blood thing. That's uh, where he was uh, stabbed and uh, went down. An evidence marker. It, uh, it's a little marker that's uh, put on a... Uh, put up uh, to track evidence at the scene. There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? I can't find any leads on the shelf. There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing in it. A wooden box on the shelf. It's empty. A hook is hanging from the ceiling crane. A forklift. I don't uh, see an anything special about it. That machine is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. Nice cutting machine. It's been here a while, so it uh, wasn't moved. 3 a.m. this morning. Iris was lying right here. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. This is uh, the workbench Iris uh, was laying on. I can't find any clues here. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. The forklift is stopped. It uh, looks like it hasn't been moved in years. I don't e I don't uh, know if uh, this has uh, anything to do with uh, what happened this morning. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. The video camera and laptop used for the, the stream. You probably can't find the, the whole thread with the, this uh, though. No drum. Really does look like Reika from that cabaret club in Nakamaguro. I told you it does not. No drum. Probably not uh, a clue this time. Shelf uh, back with the shelf packed with the cardboard boxes. I asked the cop on uh, the scene, and he said uh, there wasn't uh, anything special in them. There's a dark spot uh, over there. The shadows uh, of on uh, the left uh, ca catch my eye. It's dark over there. Is it of concern? Yeah, but without some light, I can't see. I am perfect for times like this. Why not try using a run of Ibis? Huh, the 
There's something there. You should go pick it up. Huh. I recognize this. An Odoroki Man chocolate. You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. <sighs> oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. Well, yes, then. Let's move on.